Hi everyone, welcome to week 10. We are going to be working on essay four this week. So all of that research that you did in the annotated bibliography, now you're gonna use it to write this classical researched argument. And you have a quiz on uh, supporting claims. This is a really good chapter, by the way, so be sure to read, read it. And then you have a couple of reviews here. And then you're gonna outline your classical argument with an arguable thesis. So this is where we kind of run into some trouble is students uh, will write a thesis that's merely a statement of fact. So you have to really be sure that it's arguable. Uh, body paragraph topics and evidence of sources. Uh, the research sample essay is really good. Here's a copy of it. This is a really good sample essay because it's pretty short and it's a student essay. So it's really accessible and, e and easy to read. Show, and it also is done in the MLA style. So this is the style that your paper should be done in. Uh, here's, and they address, like the title is centered. Here's the um, background that they're providing for your thesis, which is right here, it's at the end. And some summary and long quotes. Here's the topic sentences. This is the only thing that's different about the sample paper versus the essay you will write, you're not going to have a long quote like this. Those block quotes are not allowed in this class because they're just padding for a paper. But this is a good, clear outline. It's 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 an accessible subject. It's accessibly written. It's not super long. has a really good works cited page that you can use as a background too. One of the things I sometimes suggest to students is that they kind of print this off and just keep it handy as they work so they can see, you know, how to keep things moving along and how this student is doing it. And uh, it also presents the a counter argument. So here's the counter argument down here and support for the counter argument. And in your paper, your counter argument is going to be at least a page long, but that's, we're not worrying about that today or this week. That is a project for a later week. Um, your reading quiz is about supporting claims. Here's the sample research paper. These two PowerPoints are really good. I would highly suggest that you go through them. They're not a repetition of this book at all. They're from a completely different source and they, they come at writing a classical argument in a slightly different way. Here's your prompt. So you've read this uh, before and it basically asks you, what is an argu arguable controversial issue or ethical dilemma in your major that you would like to address? So this is what you did in the annotated bibliography. You look for resources to support your argument there. And it says you're going to use at least five of the articles from your annotated bibliography. Essay two is your sources. And it also says at this point, many students discover they need to do a little bit more research. If needed, you may use up to 10 college level articles from various sources to complete your essay. And the key phrase here is see this in bold 10 college level articles. I even in your annotated bibliography, some of you went out on the web and just looked at, you know, good housekeeping, 10 tips on a healthy life. No, that's not a college level source. Um, and it also says absolutely no part of your annotated bibliography or rhetorical analysis will appear in your research argument. That is plays, plagiarism and will be treated as such. How am I going to know if you do that? It'll all come up highlighted because you already submitted those two papers to the database. So you can't use any of it. That's why I've said this over and over throughout. So just be aware, don't do it. Again, they talk about the sample. So here's what you're doing today. Step one is the outline. It's worth 15 points. So you're going to produce this outline. And at the top of the page, you're going to write your major at the top of the page. Okay, just write, you could just write a header, major, colon, and then write it out. And then you're going to, you could write thesis, colon, and then write your argumentative thesis statement at the top of the page. And this may have changed since your annotated bibliography. And what I mean is 
not the whole entire topic, but just the way it's worded. I would hope that by this time it has changed so that you've refined it a little more. And, and even by the time you write the final draft, you'll refine it even more. So especially look at this point, the prose, the flow, how it sounds, that it is arguable, that it addresses, you know, the topic. So you're going to have these two things. You're going to structure your outline around your body paragraph topic sentences. Okay. So you're going to have the only sentence, real sentences you're going to have in this outline are the thesis statement and the body paragraph topic sentences. And underneath each body paragraph, you're going to have uh, evidence from varied sources. And it says strive to get three sources per paragraph. If you only have one source in a paragraph, you're not going to earn an A. I'll just flat out tell you that right now. So you need to have at least two different sources in all your paragraphs. Three is better because if you only have one, it's like, who cares? This one guy believes this thing. So what? If you have two, then it's like, well, maybe, you know, okay, kind of people are, kind of, but when you have three, that's pretty solid that there are, you know, different sources that are saying this, this supporting the same ar argument you are. You're going to include a counter argument session that addresses the strongest counter arguments to your thesis. And it's up to you to decide if this section should go before or after you present your argument. So some people like to do it right after the introduction. Some people like to do it right before the conclusion. Uh, your counter argument, you basically at this point need to just write counter argument and then tell us what your counter argument is. And you might have some evidence. And this is the one paragraph where you may only have one source. Okay. And then you're going to have a refutation to the counter argument. So you have the, here's the counter argument. How do you refute it? So why is your position better, stronger, more appropriate? So you need to include those two things. And oftentimes these are two different paragraphs. You don't need a conclusion at this time and you don't need a, um, work cited page outlines will not be accepted late. However, uh, if you, when you include your evidence, you do need to include in-text citations. You can include the works cited page if you want. If you've already got it done, then that's fine too. So week 10, your discussion post is because, and it says, now we are on to writing the final research paper. What is your claim? The claim is your position on the issue you chose, and it must be arguable. So here's an example. Cocaine and heroin should be legalized. And there are many different opinions on this claim. Okay. Now let's generate because clauses. So here's the example. Because legalizing drugs will keep the government out of people's private lives. Because keeping these drugs illegal has the same negative effects on our society that alcohol prohibition did in the 1920s. Each of these claims is a body paragraph topic. In the example above, you would have one paragraph about legalizing drugs will protect citizen privacy, and then another paragraph about comparing the negative effects of the war on drugs with alcohol prohibition in the 1920s. Okay, so these are how you do claims and you're studying claims this week. So the initial post asks you, what is your claim? So that's just the main focus of your thesis. After you write your claim, generate at least two because clauses. So you're going to do like, you're going to write your claim just like this one. Cocaine and heroin should be legalized. And then you're going to do because clauses just like these, because legalizing drugs, and then because keeping these drugs illegal. So you're going to do that twice with your claim. Can you think, and then your peer responders, we're asking you to look at these posts and think of other because clauses. So this week, I'm looking forward to seeing your outlines. If you have any questions about how to do it, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for watching.